Hi, my name is Christine and I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico and I own an alternative lifestyle club called Wonderland and today we're talking about safe words and why they are important. So I just made a video on uh, contract negotiations and we were talking about safe words, how they should be part of your contract negotiation and um, we want to make sure that people understand why it's important to use a safe word and what kind of safe words should you use. So by all means, you can create any safe word you want, but universally, the reason why we use the red, yellow, green is because it is the most common thing that almost everybody in the world knows. So almost anywhere that you would go where there are cars, there are traffic lights. And almost every single time that there are traffic lights, it's the red, yellow, and green system. Red meaning to stop, yellow meaning to proceed with caution or to clear the intersection, and green meaning to go. Um, unfortunately, it is one of the most and it is one of the most common and least understood aspects of the kink um, of the kink world. No whatever, BDSM, whatever. Um, so when you're talking about kinky play, um, you should be talking about safe, sane, and consensual. Um, and you should be talking about safe words and why they're important and the different ways that they should be used in play. Okay? So I like the red, yellow, and green method because it doesn't require you to remember an arbitrary word. It's a simple method. It's easy to remember when you got got up in play um, and you can forget your safe word. And when you use a system like this, it's less likely that you're going to forget what word you need to use to say no, to say stop, to say I'm okay, to say I'm not okay. And the red, yellow, green is a great way to do that. So red is not just for the red light. So the most important safe word that you could have is red. It's when you're in the middle of some intense play and your partner says red, it's time to stop. That means you've hit their limit. There's something that is going wrong or they're just, they just need a break. And when your partner gives the red light code, you stop immediately. All play stops. And it might stop for the entire rest of the scene or the entire rest of the evening. That is in the dynamics of your negotiated contract. On is it just we're going to take a break or does all play stop for the rest of the next 24 hours or whatever. Okay. Um, and there are many reasons why a personal, uh, uh, there are many reasons why a personal would flash a red light. Okay. This is what I like most about this system. It creates a clear path for consent and the ability to communicate with your partner when um, words might be hard to come by, regardless of the kind of play you and your partner are doing. Being able to say stop is the most important part of play. Okay. Now yellow. So if your partner calls yellow, it might be time to stop for a moment and then slow down the play. Um, this will give your partner a chance to catch their breath. They might need a moment to process what is happening. Maybe the scene has triggered an emotion from them from the past trauma. Um, this is a communication between you and your partner. Ignoring yellow from your partner could end up forcing them to call red and stopping the scene altogether. So when your partner calls yellow, then you should um, you should check in and see what's going on. Yellow is important because the person might just need to reduce the sensation or even slow down the activity. And yellow helps you communicate this with your partner. Um, whether you like it or you just need less of it, thinking of yellow, you would think of yellow as proceed with caution, clear the intersection, or as a rest stop. Okay. If you're basically still driving along and you're enjoying your trip, but you need just a rest, you need to go to the bathroom, you need to um, clear your head a little bit, all kinds of things like that. Um, you just need a small break. Then that is pretty much the best way to describe it. And then green obviously means go. Green is full speed ahead. Rockets on full. Green means yes. And it's awesome. If your partner gives the green light continuously, then by all means, go for it. Um, it's fun. <laughs> um, 
So green is pretty much, you know, it's keep going. Um, I always check in with my partners. I'm like, what's your color? If they say green. Okay, I keep going. I probably check in every 15, 20 minutes with my partner, my bottom, because I'm not a dom. I'm a top. Um, but I really like to be like, what's your color? What's your color? What's your color? If they don't call it, I will ask them what their color is. That's all part of care, aftercare or pre-care or during care. Um, I feel that this system is the best, the red, yellow, and green, because everybody understands the red, yellow, and green light means. And because communication is so important when kink-related play, it's really a keep it simple stupid. Um, don't make it harder than it actually has to be. Um, people overcomplicate a safe word process. They use... Um, words, some system, encryption, decoding, people try to use a safe word to keep their submissive. They just do all kinds of things. Um, it's dangerous when you do this. When you try to make it hard for the submissive to have a safe word, like pineapple. That's not a good safe word. First of all, if you're all fuzzy and cloudy and you're trying to search for that safe word, it's going to be hard to find pineapple as, is it yellow? Is it green? Is it red? Does this, does pineapple mean stop or proceed with caution? Which one is it? What is it for? So we can just always revert back to red, yellow, and green because we all know it. Because we all should be 21 at this point or 18 and we should all have our driver's license or at least know how the system works. Um, safe words are a way to communicate when your brain isn't always fully engaged. With the flood of endorphins from the intense play can short circuit the brain. And, um, you know, not having to like really recall what your safe word was supposed to be it's so much easier safe words allow your partners to go to give further consent or to remove consent it doesn't matter where you play your partner may say no at any time but the problem is 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 that um you can get misconstrued when you say no stop or no go, or, you know, if they're, if you're using a negative and a positive word all at the same time, or you're saying, no, no, it's okay. I'm good. I'm good. Keep going. Keep going. No, stop. Wait. Yes. No, make, you know, it can go back and forth like that. And that's why we have those safe words is to keep it from going back and forth like that. Or being confused on what they're actually saying. Are they saying no, like, no, 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 no. Like that's a good thing. Like, no, no, I, you know, there's so it's confusing. It can be confusing when you, um, when you do the safe words in the red, yellow, green, it keeps it from being confusing. So that's pretty much why we use the red, yellow, green system. By all means, if you want to have your safe word as pineapple, go ahead. It's actually a running joke. I think that if you came in screaming pineapple into a scene, somebody's going to be like not taking you seriously because we all use red, yellow, green. Guys, be good to yourselves and be good to each other and go adopt an animal. Ladies, buy a red lipstick. That's my advice. Um, thank you very much for listening to me. I hope that you were able to pull something out of this. We want to make sure, I want to make sure especially, that um, people don't end up in the ER. Lack of communication can you end you up in an ER or serious injury. Um, that you have to explain to your boss later. You don't want to explain to your boss why you were in the ER with all these bruises on your ass. <laughs> I had to go to the doctor because I accidentally, you know, didn't call YOLO because I was screaming pineapple and the person didn't remember that pineapple was my damn safe word. I was screaming red. Use some realistic safe words, guys. Thank you very much and have a great rest of your day.